Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I want to share some tips on how to organize Apple Notes. I've made a few videos on Apple Notes in the past. I'll link up here a video I made a little while ago about how I use Apple Notes and how I've gone paperless using Apple Notes. But one of the questions that I often get, and it's probably the biggest question you need to answer when you first get started using Apple Notes, is how do I organize all of my notes? There are a few tools like folders, tags, and smart folders that we can use to organize our Apple Notes. And of course it goes without saying, I'm just sharing kind of the system that works for me, but really you can organize Apple Notes however you like. I'm just gonna share kind of my thought process behind when to use notebooks versus tags and that kind of thing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So as I mentioned before, there are kind of two main tools we can use to organize our notes. There are folders, which you can see here on my sidebar, and then we have tags. And sometimes it's hard to decide, should I use a folder or should I use a tag? So the way I think about them is folders should be used for the broad sort of categories or different areas of your life that you need to manage. Or another way that you can think about using folders is as a replacement for actual notebooks. I'm not a big user of physical notebooks these days. I've got a video about how I've actually gone paperless using Apple Notes, but some people use uh, notebooks for different things like maybe studying, work, personal, and if you're that kind of person trying to go digital, that's a way that you could think about using these folders. Now, if you're like me, if you're an Apple user using Apple Notes on the Mac, on the iPhone or the iPad, you probably have an iCloud account. And so you, like me, will see an iCloud kind of folder or section here on your sidebar. So these are all of the folders and notes in my iCloud account. Now I can, if I go to notes and then accounts up here, this is gonna open the settings on my Mac. I can choose to also sync notes from other internet accounts. Like I have this work uh, Google Mail account and you can see I've actually chosen to disable notes. So I'm syncing my email, my contacts, my calendars with my Mac, but notes I've chosen not to sync because I just keep all of my notes in my iCloud account anyway. I don't want the extra kind of options there. So I've disabled that, but if you want, you can connect, you know, multiple Google or an iCloud account or a Microsoft account, and you'll be able to see that here in your sidebar as well. Now, I should point out that with my iCloud account connected, there are a couple of default notebooks that you'll see. There is this all iCloud folder. We can't rename or delete or change that in any way. This is just there by design and it shows all of the notes in this iCloud account, regardless of what notebook or sorry, folder they're in. And then we have the notes folder. This acts as sort of like the default folder. And again, I can't rename or delete this. All of my other notebooks, I can right click and I can delete, rename them. But the, this notes one here, this is kind of fixed. And so this behaves as the default. So if I create a new note, you'll see it automatically goes into that notes folder. And in my case, you'll see, I don't have a lot in here. I use this notes folder almost as a temporary folder where I'm, I've got new notes that I've recently started. But my, my objective then is I will then sort these notes into one of my other folders. So I can right click and I can move it to one of the folders that I've already set up. Or if I don't need a note anymore, I can just delete it. To create my own folders, I can either go to file and then new folder up here, or I can click the new folder button down here and give it a name and then click okay. And it's gonna be added to my sidebar and I can just drag and drop this to wherever I want to position it. I can also choose to nest this folder within another folder by dragging it on top of another folder and then letting go. And you can see it kind of creates this folder hierarchy where I have sort of a parent and then a child folder. I haven't really taken advantage of this yet. I'm pretty happy with my folder structure, which is quite minimal as well. But if you are going to create more folders, you can nest them like this to keep things a bit more organized. And then adding notes to that folder is really easy. I can either right click and go move to uh, the new folder, or I can simply drag and drop it into the folder. So funny story, I was halfway through recording this video and I stopped to have some lunch and go for a walk and I got rained on. So I'm gonna go change now, but that's why I look different for the second half of this video. Okay, I'm back. And I was just finishing off talking about folders. And so in summary, I recommend using folders for the main categories, uh, areas of responsibility that you have, or as a replacement for those physical notebooks. So 
Now let's talk about tags. And how I think about using tags is for the more granular sort of topics or kind of labels that you might want to apply to a note. And the important thing with tags is that I can put a tag on a note across any note, regardless of what folder it's in. So for example, I have this tag called instruction manual, which I use to group together notes for the paper instruction manuals that I have thrown away. So in this case, you know, here's the uh, manual for our heat pump. And I either take a picture of the manual or I'll try and find a downloadable PDF. And so some of, these, uh, some of these notes are in my personal folder, some are in the reference folder, some might be in the business or property folder. It doesn't matter where I put the note, it doesn't matter what folder that note lives in, I can apply the tag and I can see all of the notes with that tag in one place. To create a new tag, I simply need to add the pound sign and then the name of my tag anywhere in my note. So if I type the pound, you'll actually see it'll suggest some tags that I can add. Or to create a new one, I can just write the name of that tag and hit return. And you can see it will turn yellow and that means the tag has been created. And I can now see that here on my sidebar. I also think tags are quite useful in examples like this where I have this CrossFit tag for tagging notes related to, you know, here's some physio exercises that I need to do. And I don't wanna create a whole folder for CrossFit. You know, I've only got a few notes here that's like less than 10, but I can use a tag to group together all of my CrossFit notes for exercises and competitions and programs that we're doing without having to create this entirely new folder. Earlier on in the video, I gave the advice which was to not go crazy or overboard with the number of folders that you create because it can get difficult working out where to put things. But with tags, I think it's okay to create more as you need them. As I mentioned, it's quite good to use a tag if you can't really justify creating an entire folder because you only have a couple of notes. So you can just create that tag and you can group together those kind of similar notes in one place and they're easy to find later. So our folders here and tags here are kind of the main ways that we can organize and create structure within our notes. Now, I also wanna to touch on smart folders. So up here, if I go to file and then new smart folder, I can create a new folder, but it's smart by which I mean, notes will automatically appear in this folder if they meet certain criteria. So let's create a smart folder called recent recipes. And down here, I can specify the criteria that I'm looking for and whether I want this smart folder to uh, make sure the notes contain all of the following or any of the following criteria. So I'm gonna say, I'm looking for notes where the tags are recipe and where the date created is in the last 12 months. So let's go ahead and create that. So here's my smart folder on the sidebar now. It's got this slightly different icon and I can see my notes with the recipe tag that were created in the last 12 months. And I should point out that this note still lives in, you can see here, the personal folder, but I also see it in the smart folder. So a smart folder is slightly different to uh, the normal folders. I think of them more as like saved searches or filters that show us the notes from other folders and locations that meet certain criteria. Personally, I'm not using smart folders at the moment, uh, not because I don't think it's a good feature, I just don't really have a requirement for any. I'm quite happy with the folder structure that I currently have. Now, a couple of other tips I want to point out when it comes to organizing your folders is you can change how a folder is sorted. So if I show you this reference folder here, and if I go to view, you can see I can sort the folder uh, by default, it'll sort by when the note was edited. You can see in this case, I've actually chosen to sort all notes in this folder by when they were created instead. Whereas other folders of mine, like this journal folder, I've sorted by title because I use the title as a way of saying what day I'm journaling on. Now, I could have chosen sorted uh, by date created, could also work. But in this case, I've actually, with my journal, I've actually gone back in time and I've created journal entries and put in photos of different significant moments and things. And so the date created doesn't always match up with the actual journal date. So that's why I've used uh, the title option here. But the key takeaway here is that you can sort your folders by title, date created, edited, depending on kind of what's most useful for that particular folder. Another quick organization tip is that I can right click on a note and pin the note, or if I swipe with my mouse uh, sideways, I can pin a note like this. This is a really useful way of putting notes to the top of a folder, or in this case, I'm just in my all iCloud folder. So useful for notes that I need to refer to or that I'm updating on a regular basis and just being able to get quick access to them. 
And so that is a look at how to organize Apple Notes. As you can see, it's actually pretty simple. I think a lot of people have a tendency to overthink their structure. They're sort of looking for a big elaborate way of organizing their folders and their tags and coming up with this amazing system. But as you can see, I think just by using the folders for the main categories of your work and the things that you're doing, tags for the sort of more granular topics and labels that you want to apply, actually helps you to organize things pretty easily without too much effort. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.